Right, hello everyone. Well, we're in the H135 again, version 1.3. I like this version. This is a really nice version. Um, when you lift off left pedal at the moment, didn't quite catch it. It's the contact with where it does the ground seems to have improved quite a bit. So when you're landing it or taking off, it's what I call stiction, it just feels right, slides well or slides a lot better. So let's just head off over to the Brighton area and it's a bit of a silly game, I'm away for a week or so, so didn't have much time or wasn't able to put too much thought into this video. But one of the things I play around with quite a bit is in Shoreham especially in Brighton area lots of areas to land so you've got uh, playing fields, cricket fields, uh, bits where people do their gardening and stuff like that and to get my sort of hand in or my head in especially I'll often just do this as if we're got to get in somewhere Right, we pick those allotments over there. Just so we can see there, dropping the collective. Bit of right, bit more left, bring the nose up a bit. Let's go round this tree. It's a bit weird flying it because I'm in VR using Oculus Mirror. I've moved the seat right back. So position wise, all my normal things I use as registration points in the um, inside of the cabin are all out at the moment so let's just pick this white bit land on that yeah it just the way it comes down on contacts is definitely a big improvement now one of the things I keep saying I'm gonna try is the NI button which gives you more power um, you can override the power setting for a little bit more than you would do normally. Sorry about the mouse, it won't disappear at the moment. Um, so for lifting off and jumping back down these small areas, bit of left pedal straight up, you can overpower the engine for short periods of time. And it's ideal for this, but I've never ever done it before. So as to if it makes a difference or not, I'm not sure. Now I'm hoping I'm managing to keep my head steady for you all. Um, Again, I've gone on about it before. If you film in VR a lot, get yourself one of the foam neck pillows. It gets a bit warm sometimes. Uh, but not the ones with the polystyrene balls in, but the foam. And it's like a damper. It just helps smooth things out. So a lot of you who follow my channel know I've got a thing called a central tremor where my head doesn't stop shaking in my hands and so I had to do this out of necessity but if it can stop and dampen out what I've got for those of you that don't have a central tremor it would be like fitting a damper to your head and you can sort of use it to rotate and just smooth out that motion that sometimes when people are watching you can make them feel a bit queasy so again just straight take off in fact we're going to go around this tree I think get the nose up put brakes on as it were bit of left pedal must be something like a cricket ground or something like that the collective coming on try and stop the movement got the angle a bit wrong there so we drift over left pedal try and square ourselves up missed it a bit bit of rock and roll so we got the spot but we didn't do it all in one go so let's give a bit of forward speed and then up nice left pedal turn bring the right on bit of collective and start looking around again just for another green area like this and drop into it straight away 
try not to think too much um, about the approach or anything like that just get used to taking off dropping in confined areas so you're right I'm not going to leave it straight I'm going to rotate it round the opposite way to I came came in or as I'm doing here the same direction I came in and we use this cricket line as the landing patch get to the end very gentle on the collective there we go and again off another area there so really are hopping from just location to location I'm sure many other towns and places have it exactly the same or might even be better but you can use some of these um, flattened out graphics probably would have been someone's shed or a car it's a square so as far as I'm concerned good place to land practice just missed it I think right so we're not going to go out forward we're going to lift off make sure you've got collective on and gradually go back now in the more recent releases of the 135 it's got a bit of wind vane starting to come into it now so you do have to use your pedals keep it straight where the original one would just fly backwards like a drone and uh, that's brilliant to see because wow we've got one of those spikes haven't seen one of those for a long while um, during a bit of conversation with one of the developers who's on their discord channel I'd actually said especially on the new versions the H145 it's got to have sorry getting some glitch in there some wind vane or better wind vane effects on the towel and it said that they had improved it on the 135 and to be honest I hadn't flown fast enough backwards to see the effect that it had but it's now in there and he says it will be a great deal better on the H145 on that flight model so um, will be really interesting to see originally obviously I would imagine a lot of the aerodynamics were based on the drone maybe and so drones will fly backwards or forwards without any influence from outside sources helicopters don't and originally I was flying the H135 purely for the visual treat of being able to go around in Microsoft Simulator have a look at the wonderful things but it didn't compare with what we had in X-Plane in terms of helicopter flight dynamics but it's changing and it's changing very very fast this helicopter flies lovely um, it's got some great things that I love the autopilot on this it's so simple we we'll go back to shore and get a bit of forward speed it does annoy me that I have to shut my right eye to make sure I'm going to click the right button so we're in autopilot mode fix the altitude if we hit heading that will lock us in that direction so we're going to miss shore because we're going slightly to two o'clock so we just trim it bit of left and it's just so simple flight plans and i've got gtn 750 linked in and all the rest of it are great but this makes it very very easy once we get somewhere close get ready to take the collective altitude off heading didn't shut my eye to do it that time and now we're off back in manual control so drop the collective down
has been a bit jerky today and the fact that we've got that glitch that I haven't seen for a long long time very strange out at sea there um, so I hope it's not too jerky on the video we're going to break all the rules just follow this path over to the landing sites I use use the top of the dash when I'm in my normal seated position for squaring up and positioning landing but because I've sat back in the seat to try and give a wider field of view we'll see how we do so I'm lining the top of the canopy up with the concrete that keeps me nice and level got to get over a bit left it's just very very nice and controllable now and it's in advanced mode obviously and uh, trim off drop down gonna miss the circle a bit come back yeah so I think I'm out a little tiny bit there but very simple short video thanks for watching I'm away for a week um, some of you might miss it some of you won't but I really do appreciate the time you guys spend in watching these videos I enjoy making them press the subscribe button having trouble saying subscribe but if you can press that that would be great and if not I'll see you in a couple of weeks talk to you soon bye